Hey everyone, it's Jeanette, the Sunnyland Seller, and I've got a bit of a headache today. I just got off of work and I'm pretty tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night for some reason. So I thought maybe a little retail therapy might help. Does that cure a headache? I'll find out. Actually, I'm going to be super selective this year, or try to be. I don't want to bring in tons of inventory when I already have tons in my basement to begin with. I am a little bit more encouraged lately, though, because I do have some stuff moving out, and I'm finally getting more organized. I think I want to keep my levels of inventory to the point where I can just keep it very organized and know where things are. And if it gets to the point where stuff's piling up, then I just have to stop sourcing. That's just the way it is. And if I can't move something fast enough, maybe I just donate it and take a loss on it or have a garage sale. What do you guys do with your death piles? And what length of time do you consider long enough to hold on to an item? Is it 90 days or a year or even two years? I think anything beyond two years is way too long, so I know you just have to find the right person to come across your item, but you know, I just don't have the room to keep something for that long. So I am at a place right now called Needle in the Needle in a Haystack, and they have about 40 vendors on two levels, and we're gonna go inside and check it out. They sell some Dixie Belle paints. They have a nice sign up there. They have some hearts in the window. Still have some uh, cute little Christmas decor. I really like the hearts over there. Hello. I'm at a place called Needle in a Haystack. These boots are called Gobi. The tag says 45, 110 online. I did a comp. I see some on eBay for $18. This Grand Old Opry Barbie is $40. At these places, you can't really find much stuff to flip because that's what everybody else is already doing. That's why I prefer crowd sales. Here's what that Barbie looks like with the guitar. Super cute. There's a jewel princess Barbie. That box is really nice. What a super cute idea to decoupage the back of an old mirror. I like the kitty cats. $12.99. It's adorable for a decoration in a room. I'm at a place called Needle in a Haystack. They have all kinds of vendors, all kinds of different items. You could spend several hours in here. They also have an upstairs. These necklaces are really cool. I like these myself. I have a friend who would really like this kind of thing as well. They look handmade almost just because they're so unique. That is really cool. Check out this vase back here. That is gorgeous. It's $99. I don't know what kind or brand it is, and I'm not going to pick it up. He's cute. People will be looking for bunnies soon with spring and Easter coming. Aww. That's really nice, too. One of my friends really likes these tea towels. I'll have to tell her about this with the embroidery. This one's five dollars. I just bought her one for Christmas that cost seven dollars. So these are cheaper here. Pyrex. I like these things that hold matchbooks. That looks familiar. I think my grandma had these. Cute little aprons. My friend and I went to a tea and apron party one time. That was kind of unique. All the glass. 
house in the window looks so pretty. Maybe I'll go upstairs and check that out. Yeah, there must be a disco light going. I'm actually looking for some frames to put some old photos in. One of my mom when she was a little girl. I have a set of these frames at home right now. I love them. I have my wedding picture in it, actually. Oh, look at the little tea set. Brass items. It's heavy. That mouse has some awfully big ears. up here. Easter tin with miniatures. Adorable. Along a burger basket. $12.99. I have one of these at home for sale right now, but mine's a um, 4th of July basket. Wooden pen box. Army. Includes pen only. this way to the North Pole. Some books. The Bishop's Emerald. It's a nice cover. I like these. Oh, looks like I just got a notification for a sale. Someone's wanting one of my Harley shirts. They want me to lower it by $2, which I will. Wow. An awesome tricycle. Check that out. This is Monty Python's Flying Circus sealed VHS for $8. I'm going to do a comp on this. It's between $10 to $15 on Amazon and eBay, so I will pass on that. The English Roses looks interesting. I have not heard of these books. Includes collectible membership card. It's a neat little statue. Nice wall sconces. Really like this. It's twenty-four dollars. Sequoia wear. Groovy seventies. I'll venture much back here because it's all dark and it looks like it's all Christmas. So, might just be where they're storing their Christmas stuff. Take a quick look. ornaments. Okay, we're going to head back downstairs. This groovy vibes.
clothing in case you want to dress up your goose. Or I'm sure you could use it for a doll as well. In case the goose wants to go to a party. Look at this big Pringles tin. Wow, it's pretty neat. 20 bucks. Salt and pepper shakers. A wax cat candle. That is a very ugly. Oh, there's its size down there. I thought that was its size at first. Easter colors, purple and white. I miss back here. Wow, those are some tall candlestick holders. I like them though. I like this magazine holder. Hurrahs of Las Vegas. Soapstone. of these in my basement right now. They have theirs at $14.99. $12.99. Wow, that's actually a good price. Winter Silhouette Old World Santa. $30. White Porcelain Department 56. Hmm. Oh, look at these Santas too. Like old world Santas. This is really cute. Too bad it's missing part of the blades. Five ninety nine. A Vera Bradley bracelet for eight dollars. Did not know they made this. Is it stamp? Check out these earrings. They're a dollar. You could. Uh, Use the beads to make something else. That's a lot of beads. I like that price. These uh, parody stitch earrings are nice too. Dollar. My mom likes to make jewelry. So some of these would be worth getting just to uh, Use the beads and different embellishments to make your own jewelry. Looks like they're all a dollar vintage earrings. Some look like they're from the 80s. Wow, look at those. They got seashells and seahorses on them. Wonder if they're handmade. There's a lily bloom purse for 15. It's cute. Looks 
like it's in pretty good shape, but again, I would only want to pay like five dollars for it. I just found one of these Lily Bloom purses on eBay, very similar, and it was listed at 15 or 18, and this one's 15. It's neat to see some of these old pencil sets. This set's five dollars. This one has a little Santa that has a Christmas tree. And this says Peter Pan Fresh Bread. It's just neat seeing all of these older things. It's kind of like doing homework for me, pricing things. That way I know if I have something at home, what to price it for. I do have a whole box full of these older pencils and pens. I really love sand art like this. It reminds me of my childhood. My stepmom used to make these. That's pretty cool. It's heavy too. Six dollars handcrafted sand candle with a USA stamp. And it has the wax on the top. Your gift with any Elvis fragrance purchase. It's a silver pin for ten dollars. Here is what that pin looks like. Does it look like Elvis? Or a guitar. I'm not sure what to make of this. I'll just give you a quick gander of what's on this table here. I'm having a sneezing attack. Anytime I get around vintage stuff, I guess it stirs up dust. A local hockey team. What are these? They're heavy. Casting for fishing. Fishing stuff. New Jersey. We have a friend from New Jersey. Virginia. Kansas, Travis Tritt, some dolls, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, Cooperstown, I'm actually going here this year with my husband and some friends, we're going to go visit this museum. I'll be doing a video about that for my other YouTube channel. Neat. Tractor mugs. Lots of little cars. Old bottle opener. I have one of these at home. That's a Schlitz beer opener. Kirk Douglas movie. 50 cents. It was a dollar at Walmart. Oh my, this is super cute. A place school learning boot. Learn to tie your shoe and it's got some blocks in it. Looks really old. Very vintage. I don't remember this from my childhood, which was the 70s, so it must be from the 60s or 50s, I'm guessing. It's $18. This little tiny car that fits into the palm of my hand is a Pewter Danbury Mint Austin Healy. It's $40. I find this little brass scoop intriguing for five dollars. I don't know what it would have been used for, but it's very unique. A moving grooving Pepsi can for five dollars. A Russian nesting doll for twenty. I don't think I've ever seen glass at the bottom of like the piece. A set for 22. I 
thought this Betty Boop February birthday bash cupcake collectible would be something. It's $5, but I looked it up on eBay and there's some listed for between $10 and $15. I think I might go ahead and get these four bicentennial mugs for $4. I looked them up and just one is listed for $8 on eBay. And plus this has the box. I really like this creamer up here, the style of it, but it doesn't have a set. It's only $2 and it is stamped on the bottom. But I just don't know if I could sell it because it doesn't have, uh, you know, the sugar ball. Union K with a little crown is the stamp. Not familiar with that one, but that is really neat. This nativity set, nine pieces, is only $8. I don't see that it's stamped or anything, but I don't know. Nativity sets usually do pretty well. Quaint little booth. How they have that set up. Very colorful. And I really love this. This bird made out of feathers. It says Mexico down at the bottom. The frame is really nice. $20, but the glass is cracked. All that shopping, and here's my little old purchase. A set of four pieces Bicentennial Design semi-stack mugs. They still have a tag. Looks like it might have been Kmart at one time for $3.88. Manufactured in Japan for Kresge Company. So I don't know if these have ever been opened before, but I'm going to open them because I need to take photos of them to list them. Also, it's a pet peeve of mine when people put price tags on the front of the box and then it ends up ripping the paper. That's unfortunate. So I paid $4 for these, and um, in my video I mentioned that I saw this mug right here posted on eBay for $10. So I figure with a set of four, maybe I can post this for $40 or even $30 would be great. Turning $4 into $25, $30 bucks would be fine with me. Here's what the inside of the box looks like. I'm thinking they've been opened before because of that little you know, wear on the edges. They do have stamps. That's nice. Made in Japan. Paul Revere on his horse there. It's pretty cool. These are supposed to be semi-stackable. I think these are a really nice set, actually. The Liberty Bell. Maybe I could sell these around... 4th of July. And George Washington. I wonder if these came out in uh, 1976. I think this is uh, a good buy. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. I'm such a fortunate girl to be married to such a good cook. My husband, Tim, is a, an awesome cook. And he made this fresh little pizza with uh, naan bread and all these fresh toppings. Spinach and pepperoni and cheese. Yummy. And now it's time for some yummy pizza. Homemade on the pizzazz.